to you and welcome to our 10th day of 10 days of national prayer for this impact conference for the National Church of God by Faith, July 25th, today uh, through the 28th. And so we thank God for the opening of this uh, impact conference that is going to happen today. God has downloaded a word into the church of God by Faith that God gives the increase. And we are expecting a great illumination and unveiling uh, of the truth from that word. And so on this national prayer call, again, I am your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. We thank God for our district father and elder and the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District. And we thank God for each and every one of you for every district, uh, for first century, second century, third century, every century, on this call as we are wrapping uh, these 10 days of prayer today with our 10th day. And so um, I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad this morning. Uh, I'm fired up. I'm lit. I'm on 10 and all of that crunk and all the rest of it because uh, God is doing so many uh, w- wonderful and amazing things. And um, we do thank God for what has been done over the past nine days. But on this 10th day, we just simply uh, have been asked by the national prayer team that we would pray for this impact conference, that for the conference itself, that uh, as we are there throughout the duration, in every session, uh, in every uh, service, in every breakout session, in every auxiliary meeting room, that as we interact with uh, staff and hotel, we've already seen and heard how there's an issue with the cleanliness of the water. Uh, in Jacksonville, there's an issue of water shortage. My mind is going to the fact that uh, Jesus said that he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. There's this issue of a water shortage and the cleanliness of the water. And I hear a call from the Spirit that we should be bringing rivers of living water with us into Jacksonville. Water should be flowing out of us. But that in our interaction, glory to God, with those that are in the staff, I don't care whether it's an Uber driver or a taxi or or bellhop or someone on staff, that we should be displaying Christ, glory to God, in such an impactful way. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we want to pray over this impact conference, and I'm excited because we have a, uh, a sincere man of God, uh, Pastor Dino Leonard, who's going to be our prayer leader as uh, we uh, go forward in that effort. And let me just lift up this before you. You know what? Uh, let me just go ahead and call it out. There's some that will, some that believe that uh, gathering together um, in a in a conference is, is was a waste of time. It, it's foolhardy. That um, what's the purpose or what's the use in it? It's th- that idea is old and it's antiquated. Uh, but let me tell you this: the Word of God tells us some things that we can uh, we can bank on and that we can take all the way to the bank. Uh, I want to tell you this: the Word of God tells us when we go back and look in Joel. Uh, glory to God, Joel chapter 2. The Word of God tells us, gather the people, this is Joel 2 and 16, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them, wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? You know, the, the scriptures indicate that uh, God is, is in his purpose and in his will, and there's a blessing there when the people of God will gather together. And this prophetic decree by the prophet Joel, he was actually uh, sanctioning a time that the people should come together for a common purpose, the people of God. And so that's what we're doing. So we're walking according to the word of God. It's never old and it's never tired to do what the word of God has declared and has decreed. You know something, um, before we receive the man of God, I want to say this. When we do what God has declared, when we activate and walk in the word of God, God will increase that which we do. I asked a, uh, a female minister in our church one time, I said, hey, sis, are you going to come down to prayer with us in the morning? And she said, well, I'm going to pray for my room. And um, you know, usually all just have to pray for me. And uh, I, I want to tell you, though, that um, it's, it's, it's sad when we 
as, as ministers and people of God, when we don't understand that there's a place, and I, listen, it's, it's a press on me just like it's a press on you to roll over at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. But I'm going to tell you, when we do what God has told us to do, there's a blessing. And in the, in the, after Joel 2.16 and 17, the word says in verse 18, then, after the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, when they cry out to the people of God, then the Lord will be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer. God will answer when we cry out and not from my bed. The Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I'll send you corn and wine and oil, and be, you will be satisfied therewith. I'll no more make you a reproach among the heathen sound like increase to me. Glory to God. And so we want to receive now Pastor Dino Leonard, and let's join the man of God. Let's raise our voices and cover this impact conference in prayer. Come on, man of God. Father God, Lord, even as we come before you once again, we come as humble as we know how, and we come in all the name, but the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And God, you declare that if we come any other way, we come as a thief and a robber. We come magnifying and glorifying you. We come lifting and exalting you. Lord, you said in your word to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. You said, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. And God, truly you are deserving of the glory, the honor, and the praise, God. Lord, your word says, give honor to whom honor and tribute to whom tribute. And God, truly you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. For, God, it was you and you alone who have still the hand of death. You didn't allow the enemy to gain the victory of our lives as we have slept. But you enabled us to rise and see yet another day. And for that, I'm thankful and grateful. I recognize and realize, oh, God, that it wasn't no goodness of my own, but it was through your mercy, God. I thank you. Lord, I ask that I would look upon us even as I pray, God. And we ask that I would move, God upon us, God. We thank you, God, for grace and mercy, Lord God, for you and you alone who, Lord God, became sin, that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And God, we thank you. We ask that I will look upon us even as I pray, God, and forgive sin in our lives. Forgive us of things said, done, and thought that were not like you. And Lord, we ask that I would help us and strengthen us and empower us in every area and every aspect of our lives, that we might glorify and magnify you, that we might, Lord God, uh, uh, the world might see us, see you in us, God. For you declared in your word that so let our light shine, that men and women will see our good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. And God, give us to live a life that reflects you, a life that causes the world to stand up and take notice. God, I desire to impact the world for your name, God. I desire to impact those in whom I come in contact with throughout the course of a day, God. For I recognize and realize that I can do nothing in and of myself. But, God, I know that I can do all things in Christ that strengthen me. And, God, I'm relying on you. I'm depending on you. I'm leaning on you, God. For, God, my strength cometh from you, God. And, God, i asking that I would bind the works and the tricks of the enemy, bind the devil on every hand, God. You said in your word what we bind down here on earth. You would bind it in heaven. And what we loose down here on earth, you would loose it in heaven. And, God, we are binding the works and the tricks of the enemy, even as I pray, God, move by your power and by your anointing. God, recognizing and realizing, God, that it is the anointing that destroys every yoke, God. God, I'm asking that I would move right now in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing prevail in the midst of us, God. Drive out anything and everything that is not like you, that would desire to hinder the forward progress, God, of your move, God, in the name of Jesus, God, you said in your word, God, upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And, God, I stand on your word, God, and I dare not stagger at the promises of God and unbelief. But, God, I count you faithful who promised God. And, God, I know that you're not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. But, God, I know that you, if you said it, you're able to bring it to pass. God, you said your word, the grass withers and the flower fadeth, but your word stands forever, God. And, Lord God, I'm standing on your word as Abraham stood, and I dare not stagger at the promises of God in unbelief, but I count you faithful who promised, God. And, God, I thank you for the move even right now, God. I thank you for healing and delivering right now. I thank you for setting free right now in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you, God, for a mighty move, God. I thank you, God, for hearing and answering our cry, God. And God, you declared in your word that your ears are not too heavy that they cannot hear, neither are your arms too short that they cannot save, God. And God, we're believing you on this weekend to move in a supernatural way, God. We're believing you, God, to touch each and every one who is in attendance, God. Move upon those that would declare your word, God. Oh, God, I believe your word, God. I believe your word, God. I believe your word, God. Your word declared, God, that your word will not go out void but accomplish whereto you send it. 
And God, even as your men declare your word, God, let it take roots in the hearts and the minds of those that are in attendance, God. Lord God, that it might spark a fire that it might stir them as never before. In the name of Jesus, God, rest your hand upon them right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God, give us the press in, God. Give us the press in as never before, God. For God, you declare that the kingdom of God shall be violent, but the violent take it by force, God. And give us to come together as a great army, God, against the armies of the enemy, God, that would desire to stop and hinder the move of God. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to look upon the visionary, God. I'm asking you, God, to stir them up, God. Oh, God, give them strength to continue for. Oh, God. God, for you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, look upon our bishop, God. Move, oh, God, upon him right now in the name of Jesus, God. Have your way, God. Not our will, but thine will. Not your permissive, but your divine will be done, God. In the name of Jesus, God, give us, oh, God, to back up, oh, God, and push, oh, God, the vision. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would do it, God. Let not one be among us that would hinder, that would desire to stifle, oh God, the move, God, but give us the push as never before, God, in the name of Jesus, say you are a liar and you're the father of every lie, the blood prevail, even as I pray, God, move right now, God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to look upon, oh God, the one in whom, oh God, spare his, oh God, this prayer, Lord God, we're asking God that you would move, God, in the name of Jesus upon Lord God the conductor God do it right now in the name of Jesus in his life set in order everything that is out of order bless oh God recognizing and realizing God that the anointing comes down and God I'm asking you Lord to give us to get under the head that we might experience the anointing and the power of God in our lives in the name of Jesus, God, supernatural move, in the name of Jesus, a move like no other, in the name of Jesus, God, I break the back of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, Satan, I come against you with the power given unto me by God, the blood prevail, the blood prevail, the blood prevail, oh God, I thank you for the turning, I thank you for the movement, I thank you, God. I thank you for the movement. Because there is, there's movement, it means there's life. And, Lord, I know that movement, oh, God, is taking place even right now. Oh, God, because you're not slack concerning your promises, but you're faithful. And, God, I thank you. I thank you for believing and standing on your word. I thank you for doing it right now in the name name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you, Lord, to move throughout the hotel, God. Oh, God, go from room to room. Oh, God, I'm asking you, Lord, to look upon the wait staff. Look upon, the, oh, God, the managers. Oh, God, let your spirit cover the place in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you promise in your word, God, the effectual fervor in prayer of the righteous availeth much. And God, I believe on this week, oh God, we're going to see a move like no other. I believe on this week, oh God, cripple are going to get up. Blinded eyes are going to pop open. I believe, God, that we're going to see your hand for the Bible declare signs and wonders. Follow your word. And Lord God, I'm standing on it. I'm believing by faith. I don't need to see it, but I just believe. For God, you said in your word, Lord God, to the disciples, you believe because you've seen. But blessed are they that have not seen, but yet believe. I believe. I believe. For great report. I believe. For report. That topples every other report in the name of Jesus. I 
thank you for doing it right now. I thank you for moving amongst leadership. I thank you, God, for commanding the blessing upon us. I thank you for rain, for the former as well as the latter. I thank you for the beginning and the end. For had not we went through, we would not be able to recognize your glory. We would not be able to see your hand. But God, I thank you. For God, I know that everything we went through leading up to this conference prepared us for a supernatural move. I believe your word when it says that all things work together for the good of them that love you and are called according to your purpose. I believe your word when it says our light afflictions working for us, a fire and exceeding weight of glory. I believe to see your glory. I believe to see a move. I believe to see you do it and turn it around for us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the world is going to come to know that you are God amongst and in the midst of the people of God, the naysayers, the spectators. They are only designed to give testimony, to carry the news. Oh, God, I'm believing you to do something miraculous in this move. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, cover those that are traveling. Give them traveling mercy. Don't allow any hurt, harm, or danger to befall them, but keep them and cover them. Shield and protect them. In the name of Jesus, not one negative report. In the name of Jesus, only only positive reports. Only good news. Good news. Some believe that has to be good and bad, but not with God. I believe God for good news. I believe God for a strong report. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God for conferences, huh? for such conferences as this, huh? impact conferences, huh? conferences huh? that transforms huh? the lives huh? of people, huh? brings people huh? into awareness huh? of where we are, huh? the times and seasons huh? in which we're in. Huh? I thank God huh? for the assembling together huh? of your people. Huh? Lord, you said huh? how good and how pleasant it, huh? it is for brethren huh? to dwell together in unity. Huh? You said in your word, ha, that iron ha, sharpens iron. Ha. Oh God, ha, give us to be geared up ha, and ready ha, to do battle, ha, to go forth ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, in the name ha, that is above every other name, ha, in the name of Jesus. Ha, I thank you, God. Ha, I'm armed ha, and I'm ready ha, in the name of Jesus. Ha, I have ha, everything I need. Ha, oh God, ha, because of you. You said that you've given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. I believe I have what it takes. I believe your word. I believe that I am what your word says I am. And I shall have what your word says I shall have. And we're moving forward. Oh, God, forgetting those things which are behind. But we're in the press. We're pressing God. We're moving. Oh, Oh God, ha, leaving dead things ha, behind ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, trusting you, ha, having faith in you, ha, recognizing and realizing ha, that the steps ha, of a good man ha, is ordered of the Lord. Ha, I believe ha, that my steps are ordered. Ha, my steps ha, not be the same, ha, may not be the same as my neighbors, ha, but my steps ha, have been ordered. Ha, I believe you're ordering my steps. I believe you're directing me. You told me in your word that you will lead and guide me. Oh, God, you are my eyes when I can't see. In the name of Jesus, because you declared that you would be a lamp unto my feet and a light onto my pathway, that you would lead and guide me. You are my compass. You are my GPS. And, Lord God, I thank you because there's no glitch. 
Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, let them cry out, spare thy people, O Lord. Give not your heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer. He will answer. He will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I'll send you corn and wine and oil, and you will be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's increase. It sounds like increase to me. Then he said, Be glad then, you children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God. He has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give Jesus the glory. We give him the honor. We give him the praise. We thank God this morning for the incomparable Pastor Dino Leonard, man of God. The man of God spoke to the heart of the matter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To the spirit of a man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Job said that there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. I thank God for the understanding, and as the man of God declared, Hallelujah. He spoke to fear and doubt and disbelief. It doesn't matter whether you're second century, whether you're next gen, whether we're first century, whether we're seniors, or whether we're juniors. He spoke to doubt, disbelief, and fear. He canceled it. He dismantled it. He dismissed it. He excused it. Glory to God. He dismissed it out of this, out of this world, the universe. He dispelled it. Glory to God and declared that we should believe, only believe, in the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no room for an evil report. Glory to God. He was like, he was like Joshua and Caleb. There's no room for an evil report. We are well able to protect the land. We're well able to do everything that God has called us to do. This church is well able to increase in the way that God would have it to increase. Glory to God. There's no room for an evil report. Glory to God. So we thank God for his word. We thank God for Pastor Dino Leonard. We thank God for these 10 days of prayer. Listen, we thank God for the national prayer team. Thank God for each and every one which is a part of it. It is a team. The prayer team is a team. Hallelujah. Together, everyone accomplishes more. It is a team, not a, not, not a host. It's a team. Glory to God. And so we thank God for the national prayer team and all of its arms and all of its faculties. Uh, we also want to encourage you, while the 10 days of prayer has wrapped, but we thank God that you have two more dynamic times of war in prayer, 6.30 a.m. Friday morning and 6.30 a.m. Saturday morning is a time where we are going to experience increase in prayer. Hallelujah. It's going to be crazy and it's going to be awesome. But we thank God for what he is yet doing. We thank God for the anointing that is flowing 
from our presiding bishop to his cabinet, our superintendents and district elders and fathers, our pastors, our ministers, our deacons, our teachers, our mothers, our evangelists, our missionaries. We thank God, our evangelists, each and every one. The, the oil is flowing from the head, even as Psalms 133 has declared unto us. And so we encourage you, listen, I know there's a shortage of water, and I know, <laughs> glory to God, there's questions about the water in Jacksonville, but listen. Jesus said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Bring the water. Let's bring the, river, the, liver, the rivers of living water to Jacksonville. Let the rivers of living water flow out of your mouth. Let you be an example of planting and watering, and let's watch God give the increase. We thank God. We give him glory and honor. Let's go into this conference and let's experience God like never before. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah.